Let's get started, just like the card says from Google. So I live in what you'd call a two-story home with a finished basement. So three stories, if you want to call it that. And the issue has always been Wi-Fi connection on the top floor, which would be the second floor, because my router is located in the basement. People would say, well, why don't you put the router on the middle floor? Well, the, uh, the coax, I have cable internet, the coax cable comes in in the basement, and that's where I connect my router. I wanted to have the least distance from that cable, from the direct line, to the router, so that's where it sits. And it sits in a back corner near my furnace. Overall, I can't really complain about my internet, but the top floor has always been an issue. So, for a number of years, I've been using a Netgear Nighthawk R7000. It's a great router, it has great speed. It does 2.4 gigahertz, it does the five gigahertz. The five gigahertz is one of the main issues. You can't get that really in the top floor at all. If you do get it, the performance is pretty lousy. People say, get an extender, Wi-Fi extender. So that's great. The idea sounds great and I have one and it's on the top floor and it's another Netgear uh, product, so it connects directly to it. The problem with Wi-Fi extenders is you're creating a new network and you never have the same performance as going directly to the router. That's something I'm hoping to fix today with the Wi-Fi system from Google and they just call it Wi-Fi. So I chose the three pack because they recommend three Wi-Fi points for a large home, 3,000 to 4,500 square feet. I'm somewhere in there between 3,000 and maybe 3,500. My main issue is the router and even the extended router, they just have trouble on the top floor. The other problem you, you have with a Wi-Fi extender is a lot of times your devices don't know which network to connect to. So sometimes I will start on the main floor or in the basement on my 5G connection, go up to the third floor and it doesn't know to switch over to the EXT network because it's a separate network. You get a little bit of connection for a while and then it'll drop. It's just a frustrating thing. I'm really hoping that this will fix that. So my plan is they're gonna be on each floor. One is gonna be sitting in the current spot where the, the Netgear Nighthawk is sitting. I'm gonna be replacing it with this. And then I'm gonna put one on each floor. I haven't used it yet, but the app, the Google Wi-Fi app is supposed to tell me where to put everything based on the signal and performance. So that's what we're gonna do. So this kit I bought on Amazon, and I'm hoping it's gonna do really well. You get exactly what you see. You get an ethernet cable, you get three power supplies, and you get three Wi-Fi, what do they call them? Wi-Fi points. If you're in a smaller home, one Wi-Fi point for 500 to 1500 square feet, two Wi-Fi points from 1500 to 3000, and then three Wi-Fi points, 3000 to 4500. So three steps, plug them in, download the app and then configure them. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, kind of a tight space here, but as I was mentioning earlier, this is where this is where the coax cable comes in for the internet. Kind of a tight space that I've made here. What we're gonna do is plug in the first, first point here, power it up. I'm gonna leave the Nighthawk plugged in, powered on. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect the network connection, but just leave it in case I wanna go back to it. Just gonna pull the cable here. Use the ethernet cable that it came with. Plugging in. Internet connection. I plugged in the internet connection. Now I'm plugging in the power. Got a blue light coming on. Let's get the app loaded and configure the first point. All right, so you've got the Google Wi-Fi app downloaded. First thing you want to do is to go into your Wi-Fi networks, select the uh, the new point that you just set up, and it'll have the password in a little on a little sticky on the bottom. So you're gonna put that in. Google Wi-Fi setup. Help us improve. No, find Google devices. Allow it. This is an actual real-time picture of my house not so i've got to go back and take a yeah the qr codes on the back so we're going to do that okay so the code that the qr code that i just grabbed from it is the exact same code that i typed in so i'm not really sure why it asked for that again when i'm connected to the network already okay so it's asking where is your first wi-fi point this one's in the basement choose a wi-fi network name for the purpose of this video we're going to be calling it the wi-fi password is going to be wi-fi is powered by cloud devices turn on cloud services Store and analyze. No thanks, not right now. Are you sure? Won't be able to optimize. Oh no. That's okay. It's worth mentioning, the only way you can configure this device, these devices, is with uh, a mobile device. Apparently there's no browser version, so you need either a Google Play or App Store enabled device. Okay, connecting to Wi-Fi. I need more points. Yeah, we got two more. Getting mesh network. So now, place your next Wi-Fi point. So I'm gonna go and place them upstairs.
can see the lights turn to white instead of a blue. So that's the internet connection now and the Wi-Fi connection. I still have the third point to set up. I thought I'd said three. It asked me how many more I had and I said two. So maybe at this point it wants to do a test and then we'll add the third one. Okay. So yeah, it does one at a time. So we're gonna add the third one now. All right, so I'm now on the top floor, which is two stories up from the basement where the initial point is. And this is this is the one that might be the trickiest. I'm gonna try it in my own bedroom and uh, we'll see how it goes. I might have to move it around, but it says try not to be more than two rooms away. So I guess it's kind of two rooms away, diagonal, but we'll see how it goes. So last one we're gonna set up. I'm gonna actually change that one to top floor, just in case I move it around. So it's bedroom top floor. Okay, so it looks like it's doing a software update. It's gonna take another six to 10 minutes. All right, finally done. Yeah, it took a good 10 minutes or so. One performance thing, we're gonna do a little speed test here. I've got the speed test app. This is a result of a speed test that I did from upstairs with the old router on the EXT network. So we're gonna run the same speed test and I'm gonna go upstairs on the top floor using the new Wi-Fi through the Google Wi-Fi and see what kind of result we get. That's gonna be the only real test I do today. I'd like to do a follow-up video in a while after playing around with it a little bit more, so. Let's go check that out. All right, I'm up on the third floor. You can see where I am. I'm in Ottawa on Rogers. I think it's the new the Wi-Fi. Let's go for it. Oh. Yeah, that's quite a lot better. Download, that's upload. We're gonna do this test on each floor. There we go. Now we're gonna go down to the main floor. All right, same test, we're on the, uh, the second point here. And we're worse, how does that make sense? I am on cable internet, it does fluctuate, but that's kind of weird. Kind of strange. Let's do another test again, just to see if that was just a, a bad test. No, that's what I'm getting on the main level. That's interesting, I'm getting higher speed higher up, further away, very weird. All right, now we're down in the basement. Let's do uh, a final test. We're near the closest, we're near the first access point, the one that comes right in. There we go. That's the speeds I was seeing upstairs. Very interesting. All right, there we go. Got it installed. You can see the installation was pretty good. The uh, the extra software download took a little bit of time at the end, but otherwise, um, pretty simple. Just it's basically plug and play. The interesting thing was the results. I got the high speed on the basement, the high speed on the top floor, and the worst speed in the middle. So yeah, that's going to be the only testing I'm going to do for this video. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. I want to see if there's better locations I can move it around to and do a follow-up video in the future but for now that's gonna be it for this video so initial impressions everything looks good everything looks nice I'm happy with the speeds I'm getting in the top floor that's 
actually quite amazing compared to what I was getting on my other EXT uh, extension access point, right? The extension to the, the uh, Nighthawk router. So pretty happy with that. And we'll see how it goes, if I can move it around in different rooms. There is some software uh, built into the app, the uh, Google Wi-Fi app, that does do network checks and it can do some location testing and you can see if there's better areas to move stuff around to. So I will play around with that. I'll also do more speed tests on different devices. I've got an Xbox One, I've got a Mac, I've got different PCs, smart TVs, all that kind of stuff, and do some follow-up videos in the future. So, all right, hopefully that was useful for you. I'm impressed with it. I think if you're looking at upgrading your, your router because you're in a similar situation where you have a two-story place, if you have a big area or a big home that has trouble extending the signal across, I'd say give it a shot, try it out. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm Landon, this is Lano27Tech, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.